we're really looking to do with this project is to connect and engage the, uh, the community and make sure that everything we're doing is working towards resiliency, building resiliency for the wildlife and the humans alike. We've been rebuilding beaches. This beach we're standing on now was rebuilt three years ago after Hurricane Sandy had basically lifted the beach up and so it was no longer useful to horseshoe crabs and so it's no longer useful to shorebirds it's, and that's important because this was an important beach. So we built the beach back again so now we're trying to figure out how do we protect this beach. So we've got a number of different ways we're doing it and one of is to test out these reefs. So we used the whelk shell in small bags and then laid the bags out on the sea floor in a pattern so that uh, there were three bags across at the bottom, then two bags, and then one bag so that the, the reef came up in a sort of pyramid on all sides. And that was intentional because we want horseshoe crabs to be able to get over the reef if they choose to do so. We don't know if they're doing that. But then we spaced those reefs five feet apart and we built them in a herringbone pattern. So if you look at the reefs, you can see that we're going this way and then that way and this way. And the idea there is that the crabs can come in and then the crabs can come back out again through those five foot openings. It may be that the crabs will go over it, but we're not sure yet how that'll work out. And then the outer reef is the same as the inner reef, except it's just one bag higher. So it's just a little bit higher than the inner reef. Our celebration is actually better than anyone imagined. The weather is fantastic. The energy of the volunteers is amazing. The numbers of people that have come out to help us is uh, absolutely incredible. We are actually able to finish the job a little ahead of time and uh, with some uh, shells left over. So it's, it's just amazing. This is never possible without an enormous volunteer group. and. Uh, the American Literal Society is uh, really grateful for all of the volunteers that come out and the other uh, effect of this kind of a project is that these volunteers will now go home and spread the word about this incredible project that they participated in and it's exponential from there. And that's how we uh, educate the uh, average citizen on these critical issues.